Hello fellow online teachers, I'm Susan from Mosier Tech with some quick PD tips. Please click subscribe below to keep up with the latest PD opportunities and other exciting news related to online teaching. Today we are talking more about the new parent feedback tags in the QKids platform. In the teacher reference section, you will see 11 new core competency categories. Today, we will look some more at button and feature operations. Today I'll show you some resources within the QKids platform that can help you increase your button and feature operations. We want to make sure that we have seamless activation of the games and buttons. Included in this, besides regular use of the diamonds as a tool, is appropriate use of the other tools, spotlight, text board, stickers, etc. We also want to make sure that we understand all of the games, and some games are trickier than others. Did you know there are resources right in the platform that can help you with trickier games? Let's take a look. So here we are in the QKids platform. I've just signed in and we automatically come to the area right here with your schedule. And I'm sure you have already noticed all of the other new icons that are down on the left side on the famous blue panel. If you go to this little piece of paper here, it looks like a piece of paper with a ribbon on it, Certificates and Resources. Click on that and you will see Assigned and Acquired. So if you expand those areas, you will see all of the different resources that have been assigned to you. You can check out the new area with demos with QKids. I hear it's a great set of videos. This will help you understand what's new and what to prepare for for the demos. For veteran teachers, this area right here, reference games and platform, or for new teachers, whatever, this is extremely helpful. There are some common games and there are trickier games. And that's what I want to look at today. Because for button and feature operations, it's very important that you understand how the games work so that you're not looking over at the resource and reading what to do while you're in class. So if you have some familiarity with it, it'll help you out. So if you go right here to the common games, click open practice room, and you will have all of these slides that go through the different games. These are the common games and they're pretty easy to figure out on your own. So, so a lot of these things, very self-explanatory, common games. Drowning Monkey, love that game. I don't like to drown Momo, but it's a fun game. I really suggest clicking through all of these games and just making sure that you're familiar with them because they are the ones that are most intuitive and you should either have come across and been able to figure out or this would be a good place to review. Now let's go back and we're going to go to this reference games and platform and we're going to go into this trickier games. Number one, learn why anyone would think a particular L-series game could be tricky and some suggested approaches. So let's take a look. We're going to open the practice room. And yikes, aren't you always surprised when you see yourself on the AR screen like this? <laughs> Okay, so let's go through some of the trickier games. We'll start here, number one. Tricky, now you're thinking, this is slide one. Why is it tricky? Look right here at the reference. It's tricky because every single one of these slides will tell you why you might find these games tricky. What has kind of gotten a teacher before and some ideas for you. Teacher needs to start with simple prompts and slow speech to get all students responding. It also points out things like volume control and making sure that it's loud enough to hear the samples from all the students, but not so loud that it's chaotic when everybody is calling out. So really good tips here. Strategies and approaches to consider, really good information here. I've had people tell me that they can't see down below the other reference. If you're using your scroll on your mouse, it won't work. You need to actually click and pull up to see the rest of it. 
So you'll see the rest of that information there. And this is very helpful. Again, this is just in the demo practice class. You won't find this information in the actual class. This is just a whole slide set of tricky games. So you're going to go to each one and it's going to tell you why it's tricky, some strategies, approaches to consider, and then your general animation group activity explanation. So yikes some of these really are tricky because some of them are just highlighting and sometimes you actually have to click on the image drag it down you can make it bigger you can mess around with it and then you actually need to either collect them smaller on the side or make them go away before you do the next thing just an example and again it's all right there written out for you bingo is i wouldn't say is a tricky game but if you're not pressing start or using it right, of course, it could be tricky. So you call in the first card, you say the name. Right now, the kids can't click on their bingo cards. Their screen looks different than this. And if they have a koala and you say koala, they will not be able to cl click on that until you click start. Then they will be able to find koala. And remember, you can see their progress based on the image above their icon picture. Uh, there is absolutely no need for me to go through every single one of these. So I just today want to show you this is where they are. There are so many and it is very, very useful. Big shout out to our friends at QKids for, for developing this awesome resource. Thank you. And you can always go back, right back to it, review it at any time. So today I just wanted to point out trickier games, common games, and there's a lot more here. If you have any questions after you look through these resources, shout out below, give me a comment, or reach out to me privately. I would be more than happy to help explain the game to you, or we'll make a video in the future to get through it. All right. Bye. Catch you next time on Mojo Tech for more community encouragement and growth.